One of the things about being British and living in Germany is that I have a front row seat for Brexit. I don't want a front row seat, but everything that happens is going to directly affect me in ways that nobody can possibly predict. So I have to watch it as closely as I can. And Brexit isn't going well. Much to Britain's surprise, it turns out that you can't simply roll into Brussels and say, now, look here, my good man, here is a list of things that we want, and if you don't like it, we'll jolly well send in a gunboat and give you what for. Instead of caving in, the rest of the EU simply pointed out that Britain has a lot more to lose than anyone else, and in any case, Brussels is more than 100 kilometres from the coast. So there's long been a feeling among Brexiteers that the EU is being jolly unfair to us. After all, we are Britain, a proud nation that leads the world, and perhaps Europe has forgotten this. Maybe they don't understand that if they give us a bad deal, they will be the ones to suffer. And so, to ensure that Johnny Foreigner is reminded of exactly who it is he's dealing with, a group of Brexiteers is going to give Michel Barnier a British cheese and wine party starter kit. Yes, really. The plan is to present Barnier with a hamper of British food, including cheddar cheese and English sparkling wine. We're going to win the respect and admiration of a Frenchman, a Frenchman, with British cheese and wine. I mean, I, I don't know, I, I, I just can't help feeling that there's some flaw in this plan. I, I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, but that's not all. There'll be other goodies in there as well, like orange marmalade and cider. I can only assume that this is intended to drive home the point that Britain's greatest contributions to the world include Paddington Bear and slightly drunk farmers in smocks singing about combine harvesters. They're also going to give him a biography of Winston Churchill and the complete works of Shakespeare. What a great tactic that is, reminding the EU that our greatest politician died in 1965 and our greatest literary genius in 1616. Yeah, that'll show them. So when this fails, what's next? Project Downton Abbey? The David Attenborough Gambit? Operation Remind Everybody that Doctor Who started three years before Star Trek? Brexit is a highly complex thing, and because nobody has ever done anything like this ever before, everybody involved is having to make up the rules as they go along. Nobody has the slightest clue what they're doing, except that it is very, very tricky. And a group of four politicians and business leaders think they can help out with a picnic basket. It's really rather depressing when you look into this and discover that currently your country's most successful exports are Harry Potter, John Oliver, and the phrase, keep calm and carry on. I tried to find out who was the most successful British YouTuber living in Europe, and I think it's me. I have no idea what's going to happen after Brexit. Maybe it will be a success. I literally do not know. But if the only thing we have to support our cause is some groceries and a couple of books, I don't hold out much hope. But still, if the worst comes to the worst and the population is reduced to scavenging for scraps in the streets, at least the people of Britain can console themselves with this one thought. They may be starving to death, but they're doing so on their own terms.